Leaders, I want to talk today about the critical role that emotional intelligence plays in our own leadership. We all know and have heard about IQ, and you also probably know a little bit about the EQ, but the, the reality is IQ measures certain kind of characteristics of intelligence, especially in terms of pattern recognition and how fast maybe a person can process data. But it's EQ that puts the real lid on your capacity to get things done. We've all known people with really high IQs that were ineffective in leadership. And we've also known persons who may have had a lower IQ that were highly effective in getting things done and taking action. So what exactly is EQ and what are the components that make it up? Uh, Daniel Goleman really popularized and uh, expanded uh, the meaning of emotional intelligence in his excellent book, and he summarized EQ around five themes, self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social communication. And I want to speak briefly about each one. The first one is, uh, is self-awareness. Now, we all essentially know what self-awareness is, and the, the question of how much self-awareness you have turns on this. Are you aware, as a leader, do you have the ability to recognize and understand the impact that you have, or that, in my case, I have on other people? That's what self-awareness really is in leadership. Do you know your blind spots? The second one has to do with self-regulation, and self-regulation is our ability to control impulses that we, we all have to act irrationally. Again, I'm not talking about going crazy, but we all know, or as, as you develop EQ, you, you, uh, you, you know and you begin to recognize what are those situations, those triggers, those places where we have to be extra attentive lest we lose our effectiveness by uh, being distracted by something that someone says or being triggered and sent off down a rabbit trail. So do you have the ability to self-regulate so you don't act irrationally at improper moments? Motivation. Do you have passion or are you ability and you have the ability to challenge yourself to stay the course and move through the inevitable obstacles and challenges that you'll face and do so while staying positive and being able to stay positive for your team. It's not just, a, a, it's not just an innate piece to have the ability to be a, a glass half full person versus a glass half empty person. EQ involves motivation, empathy. Can you, as a leader, listen carefully and really try to understand and get inside another person? This is critical in selling. Do I have empathy to make that real connection with a customer? Can I listen to a person that's working for me? Can I get inside uh, really the, 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 the shoes of another person? See it from their perspective. That's empathy. And then social communication. Can I manage the relationships that I have uh, around me? Am I able to share my feelings appropriately? Okay, we all know the, the person where you get the old uh, TMI, that kind of thing. Do I have the emotional intelligence that I know when to share my feelings, how to do so, when it's appropriate, and can I manage the myriad of relationships that I have around me. Now, wherever you are on EQ, and you might want to give yourself a scale from 0 to 10 for each one of these elements, and here's the good news. All of these are things that you can learn. So what can you do to grow your emotional intelligence? Well, it's about being intentional. One of the things that has helped me is was working with a coach. I've also done a lot of reading on really each one of these levels. So wherever you have scored yourself on that zero to 10, recognize that 
you can grow better. And just imagine how much more effective you would be as a leader if you got yourself closer to a 10 on each one of these pieces. Again, thank you so much for listening. Let me know if I can be of any service to you.